what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel we're out here at clarksville speedway today for testing tune i know that's all i've been doing lately but that's all that i uh, honestly have uh, been able to do so um <clears throat> we're gonna the plan today is because i don't want to waste my time here at the uh track um obviously i want to get some kind of data out of testing tune so my plan today is is to get a whole lot of tune-ups dialed in for the car and what I mean by that is, is th this car uh, fits perfectly in Radical Street races and like Mean Street type races. Radical Street index usually goes between 570, 550 index. Mean Street between a 5.1 and a 5.3 index. So I want to make some passes today, um, test the anti-roll bar out and get like a 570, a 560, 550 tune up. And then if the track's holding good tonight, I might turn it up and try and get a, I have a 530, 535 tune up and I, if the track's good or not i might see if i can just verify that 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 tune up is good it is a little hot today so i'm gonna have to take that into account um the track's gonna be a little hot obviously i'm on radials i'm trying to put a lot of power down so it's gonna be interesting but hopefully the track is decent enough and i can uh, get my tuning good enough to get the car to hook good today and we're gonna see what happens so i'm gonna get up here for the uh first couple passes of time trials and then we'll be making passes in between rounds in between the bracket rounds so hopefully it goes good. All right, so I'm sitting here in the car and I just remembered I need to put a uh, tune up in the car. So I'm gonna do that now. The slowest you'll ever go in Radical Street is a 570. So I want to, to get my 570 tune up dialed in. And the first pass is obviously gonna be the best. I work, work from uh, slower to faster throughout the night. So I gotta kind of guess at what I think. Well, I gotta turn the battery on. So I have to guess at what I think think is going to go a 570 and i found a tune-up from a little while ago that went a 560 on 18 pounds so i'm thinking about 15 pounds should get me to the 570 so my launch psi i'm going to try and keep the same i'll leave it on that that's good that'll leave on 12 pounds if i'm on the two-step long enough one stage i only like to use one stage i don't want to get complicated so I always keep it on a 10 rate. And then the boost is kind of one to one with CO2 on my car. So it makes four to five pounds on the wastegate. So I want to make 15 pounds. So I'm going to put about 10 pounds of CO2 on top of the gate. And hopefully with it being so hot today, I think I'm going to have one extra pound of CO2 just to be on the safe side because the DA is pretty high right now. So I'm going to leave that in there. Obviously that boost is going to ramp in as fast as possible right off the trans brake. Um, but other than that, that's really all I have to do. She's set up and ready. I have the shocks ready. The shocks are, uh, the rears are on 12 compression and four rebound. So I got them real tight on the stiffness on the uh, compression. So as in the back of the car trying to push down, and I have them loose on the, uh, the separation, the rebound, which means it's going to let the suspension hit the tire. And then the fronts are like they always are. They're on eight out of 10. They're pretty tight. So I get up here and uh, see how this works out for us. somewhat of a good guess although there's a few things that went wrong throughout the run obviously the car spun a little bit and uh, I had to pedal it some 
the 60 foot was not very good. It was a 137, 574 at 124. And so I actually made more boost than what I thought I was gonna make. I ended up in high gear making about 17 pounds. I was really hoping to make only about 16 pounds. So I'd say on a good, good pass, this tune-up would go into the 60s. So it's probably a little too fast to save as my 570, but I'm going to save it as that. And if I ever do draw that 570 index, then I know, you know, this tune is close enough that I could probably finesse it to run a 570 or a 565 somewhere in there. And then I know I only need like maybe one more pound of boost to run a 560. Um, so the track's real hot right now. Obviously the car spun a few. Uh, I mean, it was probably closer to like 30 feet out from what I saw a while ago. You can see it, the purple right here on the drive shaft speed. Um, so, I'm just gonna save this as a 70, a 565 to 570 tune up. I think, like I said, on a good track that, does, that it doesn't spin on, it would run that all day. So the next pass, I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna try and run a five in the 560 area. Hopefully after it cools down a little bit out here, it's just, it's just hot. It's extremely hot right now. So hopefully the track comes around, gets a little bit better. And uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed the car went down uh, what it did just then because the track did not look very good. So I'll get up there in a little bit and hopefully run, get that 560 tune up in this thing. All right, guys, here we go. Second pass. Try to go a little bit faster. Got 14 pounds of dome pressure. Hopefully we're ready to go. Try to go a 60. Hopefully we hook up and don't spin. Huh? Stop talking to the GoPro. changed was I'm pulling some more timing so the car is spinning right where the converter converter couples up at so what I'm doing is and I don't even really know if this makes much sense but I'm gonna give it a shot I'm pulling more timing where the converter couples at to pull the power out of the motor right there it's gonna slow the car down some but the car will still go faster to the 60 foot and the 330 if I can keep it from spinning even if it is slower obviously so that's the plan for this next one I'm not gonna change anything else I try to make one change at a time and uh, go from there and see if it helps the car i don't think i need to make any changes on the suspension as far as like leaving i left on 13 pounds on that pass and the car uh the car hooked it hooked until about 10 or 15 feet out where the converter is starting to couple and it's fun so i'm just gonna pull that power out right there i think i need some more weight in the back of the car to make it work in situations like this so i may look into that here soon so let's we'll see how those changes uh helped on this next pass guys here we go try number three try number two of trying to hook up now a little bit more power Let's see how this works out for us we got this junior dragster up here in front of us so it should be laying down some solid prep for me with those gigantic tires on it probably faster than me honestly 
We're gonna get up here and see what happens. That was about something it still spun just a little bit but it kind of held on i let it go i didn't i don't think i pedaled it at all really and it went so i'd say that was a 560 pass probably just guessing because it, it didn't spin bad enough to have to cut it out and lose some 60 foot so i'm gonna get the parachute pulled in get up here and get my time slip to see so we don't burn the paracord up. Back. Ready to go. All right, so back from that last pass. I think it's gonna be our last pass for the night. My timing uh, guess worked. The car did chatter the tires still, so I probably could have pulled some timing even sooner. Um, but anyways, it was a 134 60 foot and a 558 at 127.6. So the mile per hour was up there. And the car made about an average of 20 pounds of boost that entire run. And, I mean, it doesn't have really aggressive timing in it. So, the car is working really well. It's on par with what it was doing last year. So, I'm, I'm very happy with that. I think in cool air, it'd pick up a mile per hour or two on the same boost. Um, so, look at the data log real quick. So, left on... 13 pounds roughly. Converter flashed up 6,000 and I was at, but I was basically full boost then. And you can see that purple line right here is my drive shaft speed. So you can see, grab some wheel speed right there. So that, um, the timing helped. I think when the timing pulled, it kind of helped the chatter and the car regain traction on its own because I was 100% TPS, I think the whole first part. Yep, 99%, but whatever. And from there, it was pretty pretty good. I short shifted 7,200. I short shifted by a lot, and I'm sure that scrubbed off some mile per hour. And then, uh, I mean, it just rode out through the rest of the pass. 19 degrees of timing, 20 pounds of boost. Nothing too crazy. So, um, that's probably gonna be the last pass for the night. Um, pretty happy though all right guys so that's going to end the night for us uh the old two valve is uh living to fight another day running some pretty decent times and it's nice and cooled down and there is no pressure in the coin so that always is a it's always a good thing so Ooh, that's bright i hope you guys enjoyed the video um we definitely made 
use of the testing team tonight. We got a five, I called that last run a 545 to a 555 tune up because on a good track, it's going to run that, if it, especially if the weather's cooler. So, um, and then I got a 565 to a, was it now? That was a five, yeah, a 565 to a 575 tune up is kind of what I was calling it because I can play with the boost in between and play with six foot and timing everything. And, when I get into a race where I actually have to dial the car in, I'm going to be on a really good track anyways. So, hopefully. So, anyways, that's going to end it for tonight, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.